it out, man. This alchemist. The God right don't here. pee, don't pee right here, you know what I'm saying? And don't be scared to get shitty, man. You know what I'm saying? UGTV is going down. It's good, y'all. This is Music Soul Channel right now. You are checking out Urban Grind TV. What up, man? This is Ludacris, and right now you are watching UGTV. Shannon, and it's the Teflon Don Ricky Rouse. Right now, you rocking with Urban Grind TV. It's going down. Block a clock, man. Block a balance hole. 10 by 10 minutes. UGTV don't go nowhere. Yo, what's up? It's Eric Summer, the Green Light Bandit in Chi Town. UGTV, you know how I do all day. Represent that. You know what time it is. Hey, Joel Santana, and right now, you checking out Urban Grind TV. Dipset for life, Skull Gang, Fab, and Slow Bucks. Keep up. Ooh. What's up, it's the Patty Kick Man, and you are watching UGTV right here. It's Big Snoop Dogg, Urban Grind TV, you understand me? Urban Grind TV, face mob in the building. I'll let your motherfucking... What's up, UGT family? It's your boy, Thought Boy Zello, a.k.a. SMG Zello, and you already know what time it is. It's Wednesday, and I'm back with two, not one, but two very special guests. My name is Isabel. My name is Yvette. And we are the owners of Slim Thick Body Sculpting. Okay, that's that's crazy. Like, the name is crazy itself. Like, how did you all come up with the name? Um, we were kind of just brainstorming, bouncing back ideas, um... We're trying to see something that's catchy, like something that, oh, you'll remember, it's like, oh, these two owners Slim Thick, like that. a lot of people at the gym, they're like, oh, hey, Slim Thick, like, yeah. just something that's catchy for audience and easy to say. Yeah. Okay, so, um, once again, how long have you all been do um, coming up with this idea, this process? Yeah. So, the, the idea itself, we've been doing it, um, for a couple months we were kind of like brainstorming what exactly we wanted to get into, but officially we've been um, providing service for about a year and three months. Yeah. So yeah, so how did you all meet or come about working together? Yeah. So we're actually been best like good really good friends since high school. So we've been knowing each other for years and we always have a close friendship and one day we were just like, Hey, why not put a business together and make something that helps other people, especially through their fitness journeys and it's been yeah. going great for us, both of us. That, like we both kinda like to grind, like to work. Um we realized that about each other, and we were just kind of like, let's do something, and uh, we decided to do body sculpting. Okay. So for me, I'm like an artist, and I put like me in the way I like make my music and put out my art. For y'all, it's y'all body sculpting. How do you put yourselves in your work? Like, how do you all get personal with it? Um, what do you mean personal with it? Like when I say personal, like how do you like get it, get people to feel like to want to work the same Wanna ethic as you, the same drive as you? Yeah. So uh, one thing for me personally, I actually, uh, how I found out about my body sculpting was I got it myself before we even had the idea and that's when I had brought the idea. I'm like, hey, this is, helps people feel better about themselves and like it's easy and at the end of the day, like I always tell my clients, like personally, I, I had my body, I did my sculpting and I loved it. I fell in love with myself and I mean, like one was better than helping others feel better about themselves. So me, that's one thing I always try to tell my clients is like, I try to just like put yourself in my, in your, my, your shoes and help them throughout their journey. Yeah, like we do the services are on ourselves, like ourselves. Like I do the EMS, she does the wooden therapy, um, and we just share that experience with our clients as well. Okay, so what age range do you all work with? All ranges. Well, you do have to be like uh, 18 or older, obviously, um, but we get anyone as young as like 18 years old, yeah. or we get a lot of like older women as well, like uh, anywhere from, like oldest, like 60 years old. That's great. That's great. So, how um, could people find you all and uh, find you all and work with you all? Like, yeah, we are on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook as Slim Thick Body Sculpting. Um, you can book directly, like through our link that we have on our Instagram, or straight through DMs. We do encourage the DM just because we do get a chance to like talk to you a little bit more personal than um, just kind of like booking an appointment. Um, and we do free consultations as well, like over the phone for anyone who's interested as well, but on our on our Instagram. So y'all heard it here first, UGTV, Thought Boy Zello, Isabella, Yvette, Slim Thick Body Sculpting. Let's get it. My name is Isabel. My name is Yvette. And we are Slim, Slim Thick, Thick Body, Body Sculpting. Sculpting. And you are watching Urban Grind TV. Hey everybody, what's good? This is Urban Grind TV and I am Stephanie Marie, your host. And here we are with our special guest, Manny Sevilla. Hi. 
Yes, he is a Latin and an actor from Chicago. Yes, I am. I was born and raised on the southeast side, Chicago, borderline Indiana, and I've been acting for, for about 10 plus years now. So, but yeah, um, I worked in a couple uh, shows, Chicago PD. One of my favorite shows I've done uh, is The Power um, Force with Tommy or Joseph. Um, funny thing about that, it was kind of my one of my first gigs. Really fun, really fun guy, really interesting sort of outlook. I got my ass beat. Can I, can I cuss? Um, we are on TV. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I, got my no butt, I got my butt beat. Um, but uh, it was a very interesting experience get being on TV and kind of actually doing what I want to do in life. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm glad that was one of your favorite scenes. Yeah. Unforgettable, huh? A little bit, yeah, because now everyone just keeps calling me the tax man, but that's sort of an inside joke for the show and everyone who knows me, so there's that. That's awesome. Unforgettable memories, of course. Um, so you said the tax man. So what, what else, uh, what other commercials have you done recently that, that you starred in, that you're like the main actor in? So I just did a, a, a commercial for insurance called Magnum Insurance. I was a rapper. Shout out. <laughs> shout out. Shout out. Um, which is funny because that's how I got this, you know, this little interview here. Um, I was performing as a rapper. It was a very interesting experience. Everyone was great. Extras were great. Yeah, awesome. Sure was there. I was, I was, I was a background. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. That was also one of my better ones because everyone was so nice. We all, it was very like quick. We we're very progressive. It was very like on top of everything so like we got in there a couple hours maybe like 10 ish but we got everything we need done and it was great yeah absolutely i can tell you firsthand it was very fun and it was awesome to see you you know a, a latin um well latino, latino yeah. actor, yeah, yeah, yeah. actor you know like it, starring in a in a commercial that that's actually really inspiring especially for our youth you're young yeah. so when it comes to stuff like that i always not even just commercial but like live theater that i do um, I always try to interpret a little bit of Mexicanness or Latinoness um, in all my characters. Yeah. Whoever I play, whatever I portray, all my shows or whatever, I always try to have that level of like Latino. Yeah. Just for the just for the culture. Just to represent yeah, us, yeah. right? Yeah, we need that, <laughs> especially in this industry. You know, so, yeah. we're gonna shed light on everybody. And just you know, we're more than just the, you know that basic ganguero stuff. But you know that's yeah. neither here nor there. And I'm here to open play whatever role there is and whatever I prefer you know it's kind of open I like to play everything and I'm now right. sort of stuck on one end but I do prefer like a little bit more you know Latino is city or Latino ness and the things I do yeah, absolutely yes so what made you get into acting uh I saw a movie I thought wow I could do that and then I just started so then really? I started yeah <laughs> so I started doing that it I, I went to school for it went to high school went to college and I just kept doing it full time. Now I get paid to do it. Awesome. That's amazing. So 10 years in the game. Yeah. 10 years doing the game professionally, two years. So, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So any skits on YouTube yet? Are you planning oh. on opening a channel? Do you have one? It was Actually, there is a skit on YouTube. We did, me and a friend of mine, we did a Mexican independence skit. So check that out. Um, it's on my bio on my Instagram that you guys probably will see. Okay, so tell the public where they can find you. Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook, uh, man underscore three Ys, like Manny for Instagram. Facebook is Manny Sevilla. Um, but yeah. Awesome. Well, this was Urban Grind TV. I am Stephanie Marie, and we were here with Manny Sevilla, Latin actor from Chicago. Hi, I'm Manny Sevilla, and you are watching Urban Grind TV. So they can I call you for you? I talk a lot. Yeah, hi. You took my heart and you turned it into a robbery, into a robbery. She got that bounce and it turned it into a party, into a party. She had no intentions of saying sorry, of saying sorry. But I was still waiting on congratulations. You're a dummy, you graduated. Oh, make a screen, give a shout to pass the play, you devastated. No, long nights talking for you, say I'm wrong, I say you right. Oh, you say I'm lying, call me crap, perfect time and never leave me alone. Don't regret nothing I did. I take these mess to the head. I say it is what it is. it is. I can even lose to win. But I can mix Remy with him. I can mix words with Zen. She did it up, she a fan. All right, let's.
Let's get through these puss ass jokes and get out of here. Huh? See, a creator's job is to be fearless and to express their truth through their art form. We are not responsible for your damn thing. It's okay for people to not agree with someone's artistry, and it's okay to be offended. At the end of the day, none of that shit's going to kill you. I promise. Thanks for clicking on the link. My name is Wally Locker III. I'm the executive producer of Urban Grind Television and author of Music Is My Business, a startup strategy guide to the music business. I've been in the industry for over 18 years, working with artists, entertainers, producers, record executives, and more. I put together a brand new strategy guide just for you on how to navigate the music business. I'm going to talk about your vision, about your commitments, about your dreams, building the supreme team, and more. Also, how to fund your business. So all you need to do is hit the link below, put in your email address. We're going to send you the newsletter. We're going to give you some free bonus content, and you also got an exclusive offer. It's all free. Just click on the link below, put in your email address, and get in tune. It's Urban Grind TV. Music is my business. Let's go. Mira lo que he llegado yo. Ah, mira. Y ahora estoy buscando y rogando por perdón. ¡Ay, Dios mío! Finally know who I am. Jingle. 
I never been good at the farewells, though we had up and downs like a stairwell. To ask what I'm doing, I'm a dead tail. Gotta wear the life out like a digi scale. Trap like piped up with the soft white. Overnight's posted up on the street lights. Once I get the pack going, that I'm out of sight. I was trying to push that weight with all my might. I can never leave the game like money, Mitch. Is the fans gonna still let me if I quit? Break it down, cut it up on a five my niche. Gotta be a better way to go for a glitch. And five point low riding with a stick. When I pull up on her, 50%. If you're serving on Sparta, you was a lick. If you wasn't with the game, probably take shit. With it all, we gotta find a way to eat. See the tears in his face, blood and teeth. We just saying that's bro with a big beat. We ain't never switching up for no fee fees. Got peas on the line for a good fee. It's out of your trap, you the hottest one. You bust it down, it's allowed to be hollering. I'm being modest to raise up your tolerance. Damn, it's taking me up. I put in work, this shit wasn't luck. She hit the rap two times, got a stuck. Damn, bags in my pants, blocking me tuck. Don't you waste it's holding me up. Like Omar Rian, her girl wanna touch. That y'all wanna kick it like soccer up punch. Ain't got no money, you holding me up. And she think it's fuck. And pretty as fuck. MOB, but. It was crazy, I grew up on Evergreen with the kings get stretched if you make a scene. Got hustlers, killers, and hella peace. Heartbreaking when your OG smoke a seat. The survivors got PTSD. I can still see it clear when I blink. Little shorty trying to wash up in the sink. Sink water wasn't safe enough to drink. Had pains in my chest, now it's gold in my neck. Trying to trip up zeros on the check. Ain't trying to be cliche, but like the DJ telling me she rockin' with the best. I can read body language like a text. Scoring on like the BK next. Ass sex when it's time to invest. Level up, I ain't got no regrets. Cashing out, I ain't trying to have debts. In the kitchen was mixing, I felt like a chemist. Step in my office, if you talking business, that chopper change them like a transition. I'm pulling up like Kobe or Tristan. Like GTA, completed the mission. Yo, it's your boy DJ Three Stacks, man, and we on Urban Grind TV, man. And look, I don't even think I got to even introduce this cat, man. He family, like, main stay here, my brother, Big Dog, Magnif. What's up, Big Dog? Man, you already know, working as usual, good to be back. You already know. Hey, like you said, working, man. I think the last time we pumped to heads, man, I had the pleasure of doing your set at South by Southwest in Austin, man. Amazing set, man. Had a great time with you, man. And for y'all, that was last year. We gonna be doing, he work, He been working ever since, man. Like, what you drop like? How many videos since? At least three, minimum. Yeah, I, I, I mean, thought we two right now. So. I thought it was four. I'm talking about we got so much work on the block, it's ridiculous. We slowly releasing it, we drip feeding at this point. And besides being an artist, you know what I mean? This is a man of many hats. You know, like I say, he found out to y'all who not familiar with him from photography all the way down. So just familiarize everybody what Magnif do. So Magnif, I'm a Chicago native if you didn't know already. You know what I'm saying? All size, no limitations, but just a general plethora of what I do. I make music, you know, rap, that's my first love. Outside of that, you know, I do stuff with the camera as well. You know, I'm trying to uh, stress my dream. I don't want it to be too limited to just being, you know, an artist per se. But art is, you know, it's... It's kind of bland, you feel me? It could go in a lot of different directions. So my art is not just with the music, but also with the camera. So that's everything from graphics, uh, videography, you know, you name it. We work and we add more, you know, as the time go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, quick question with that, about you being an artist and, a, and behind the camera. And I know you work with many other artists, man. Like, I see you all over the place, man. With you, like, you work with so many major names here, man. So with your camera skills, man, also being an artist, man, do you somewhat help the artists when you hear their music shape their vision? Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I'm always open to input. One thing, you know, that's very important, not just with the music, but also that go hand in hand with the video is that you want to come off a certain way. And in order for that to happen, you have to make a connection with the person that's doing the work for you. So regardless if it's in the studio, you want to make a connection with the engineer. If it's the videographer, you want to make a connection with that videographer just so you can make sure that you got clarity to the vision and the message that you want to bring to the table. So always open the input. And at the end of the day, you know, this is your work that you're putting out. So you want to perfect it, critique it, you know, as needed as well. Now, since last year, man, like I said, out of South by Southwest, man, you came back and just hit it. Like, it was like a train with no brakes on it, man. You dropped the first video, then right around the second, then the South by Southwest performance, man. You know, so 
how was it, man, I decided myself just to take off and push your platform like that, man, into what you're doing right now? I mean, first of all, it's always good to see my people. So when I hit South by oh, Southwest, yeah. I saw oh, you yeah. in the building, you know what I'm saying, UGTV, Wally and them. That shit give me energy. When I perform, I get good, positive feedback from the crowd. They give me energy as well. So to circle back to your question, for me to get back and just hit the ground running, the energy that I build, the momentum that I build from the stuff I do and get that feedback, you know, that's what propel, propel me forward. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Uh, now. What can we expect next? And if it's a video, I'm in it. I, I gotta be the next one, man. Hit me up. I gotta be the next one. I got a little time now, man. We've been trying to get something going, but man, what Mac Nip working on right now? So I just dropped MJ Mix. You know, that's a story about my life. It give you a visual. You know, just me, a young man coming from Chicago. You know, experiences from you know the Wild Hunters to Humble Park. Just giving you a painting of my day to day. You know, just visualize. You know, what my day is like. What I go through. You know. Obstacles, challenges, the good, the bad, the ugly, the whole now. MJ Mix, you know what I'm saying? Then I got some upcoming work. Shout out to my man Max Julian as well. I just did a, a set for him. He just performed, uh, did some camera work and stuff for him, you know what I'm saying? We're going to release that in the future. But yeah, get at me though. Is that the new joint he just dropped? Uh, man, he, I ain't going to lie. He got a few of them. So it's yeah. probably at least one of his new joints. He probably got at least like three out right now. So. Shout out to Big Max, man. That's my boy, too, man. So, look, man, for all our fans who don't know, because, like I said, you all over UGTV. Yes, you know what I mean? But to those who don't know, who can't find it, let us know how to find you on your social medias, websites, all that, man. So, if you just want to make it super simple, go to Google, type in Magnif. That's M-A-C space N-I-F. When it come to IG, shoot me a message. I'll follow back. You know what I'm saying? I ain't too big-headed. Not just yet. You dig? So, when it come to IG, check me out right there. M-A-C space N-I-F underscore Y-G. Oh, yeah. My bad. And also, MagnifENT.com. Very, very important, but very simple at the same time. M-A-C-N-I-F-E-N-T dot com. Let's get it. And yo, make sure y'all hit my bro up, man. Check out the videos, man. The music, like the music is crazy, man. Hey, the, on the future ones, I'm gonna be in it. We in this, boy. You know, this your boy DJ Three Stacks in. Magnif, you already know. And we signing out, man. This is Urban Grind TV, man. Remember, if you're not grinding, you're not on the grind. Let's get it. This is Magnif, and you are not tuned in to Urban Grind TV. Thanks for clicking on the link. My name is Wally Locker III. I'm the executive producer of Urban Grind Television and author of Music Is My Business, a startup strategy guide to the music business. I've been in the industry for over 18 years, working with artists, entertainers, producers, record executives, and more. I put together a brand new strategy guide just for you on how to navigate the music business. I'm going to talk about your vision, about your commitments, about your dreams, building the supreme team, and more. Also, how to fund your business. So all you need you to do is hit the link below, put in your email address. We're going to send you the newsletter. We're going to give you some free bonus content, and you also got an exclusive offer. It's all free. Just click on the link below, put in your email address, and get in tune. It's Urban Grind TV. Music is my business. Let's go. Mira lo que he llegado yo. Ah, mira. Y ahora estoy buscando y rogando por perdón. ¡Ay, Dios!
Hey, what's good? This is Urban Grind TV, and I'm your host, Stephanie Marie, and we are with... You already know, it's Starboy Zello, a.k.a. SMG Zello, a.k.a. The Boss. You already know, man. Here we are with our guest, Pedro North. Yes, sir. Pedro North, SAF Money Boy General, man. You already know we're coming. Yeah, so how you doing, Pedro North? How was your weekend? Decent. Still just working, paying bills, being grown. Hustling, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah, same shit. Yeah, you already know, especially in this city. Yeah, so what basically brought you to UDTV today? Shit, Stephanie invited me out. I was like, fuck it. Trying to promote myself, promote my artists, you know, promote my music, network, check it out, see what's popping. I'm liking the vibes. I'm, I'm liking the uh, environment. You feel me? So we just kicking it. Well, definitely, because UDT, UDTV always a vibe, bro. So, yeah, you got, like, you got, like, anything new coming out, like, new work? Yeah, I got a um my album from the drop. Well, first first of all, go check out that Roddy Rap album. You feel me? It just dropped called Rap Mania. How this shit coming out of Humble Park? Real Bodiqua mm-hmm. shit, man. Shout out to all the okay, Bodiquas, okay. you know. Shout out to the gang, you know. Yeah, through Savage. Where can they find it? Again. Uh, you can find it on all platforms. You feel me? Shit's going ham. Every song on that bitch a hit, guaranteed. That's no rap cap. Okay, so representing for the Latin community, you said you're from where? Humble Park. Humble Park, born and raised. Born and raised, man. Yeah, what's your background? So I'm Cuban and Puerto Rican, born and raised in Humble Park. Went to school up north. I went to Von Steuben. Shout out to all the Von Steuben kids. Feel me? Now I'm just out here working, trying to get to it. Hey, what made you start doing music? Sit. So, so I just been around it. Said one of my homies here, nephew. Shout out nephew Ooh, you feel me? We uh just been growing up straight out the gutter, straight out the humble park gutter, you feel me? We linked up with nephew Ooh, my homie Rab, we just got to it. Ever since then I've been going crazy. You feel me? Dropping song after song, video after video, you feel me? Just trying to get to it. Yeah, so you've done a lot of performance throughout the years, correct? See, I did a few. Shout out Pronto Spaz Out, man. We did that Spaz Out Palooza. Did a few local, a few local sets, you feel me? Shout out to the, um, I don't even know who bro and them shit, but shout out to bro, shout out Mo and them. They stay booking us, stay getting us shows and shit, so. Shout out to them for fucking with us at Bourbon, shit like that, you know? I think you was at one of them, I believe, actually. Yeah, I was at a uh, few of them, yeah, actually, um, yeah. at uh, Madison's. I, I really don't remember. I really don't remember, but... <laughs> it was a vibe. It was always <laughs> lit. Yeah. We performed cosplay in that bitch. The vibes was there. We tore that cosplay, man. I'm telling you, that shit a hit. Yeah, absolutely. That going up in that bitch. Yeah, absolutely. Shit was turned. Everything was turned. <laughs> yeah, so uh, how do you... Uh, how do people come, like, find you to work with you or uh, be able to get in tune with you and, like, uh, learn from you at least? See, you could just hit me up directly. I'm easy to contact, you feel me? I'm not one of them famous ass niggas, but you know how this shit go. Money involved all, all the time. It's about money, it's business, you feel me? I got friends, I got family, we got families to feed, all that shit. So we got to come correct on that business, you feel me? So, that's it. That's really it. Yeah, everything begins with respect, you know? You feel me? Yeah, hell yeah. Respect gets you a long way, you feel Get me? Get you far. So tell us about your new single, So Sad. Uh, super sad. Super um, sad, yeah. Say, yeah, that's it. Hot is me and Roddy Rap going back to back on some Detroit type shit. You know what I'm saying? But we, you know, we had to add our little spin to it though. It's not no really, really Detroit. It's just on some going back to back shit. But that shit vibe. That shit get you. My homie Chapo. Shout out to my homie Chapo. He fuck around, get to a motherfucker, crash out, listen to that shit in traffic. You feel me? Shout out Chapo. Feel me. <laughs> You listen to that shit, that shit make you want to ride around, you feel me? Get like, crazy. Go crazy type <laughs> shit. But, yeah. See that? See that? Yeah, we going crazy. Um. Also, I got a new single out with uh, Lyrical Lemonade artist C- uh, CP. That shit going up. Real went, uh, I dropped a reel, that bitch went up like 11K, I'm down. This bitch going up, up, you feel me? What's that So you got the social media down pack? Uh, my social media, my social media, like, it's not busting like that, but a lot of people do know me, though. Come on, what's that 
Tell us about the story. I know there's some tea a little bit about uh, Ice Spice. What, what you got to do with Ice Spice? Tell us what happened there. Come on. <laughs> no, nah, that's gang. That's gang. <laughs> that's gang. Nah, shit. Shit, it's some, some old shit, man. I, shout out to Ice Spice, man. She's doing her thing. That's, I just want to say that, first of all. You feel me? She that girl? Because I, I did come out here kind of reckless and shit like that, but... Said back in 2021, I had hit her up for. I uh, see, I see, she had posts. She, she had features. This way before she was in busting. I didn't even know who she was. You feel me? I just seen that she was bad and she was on. You feel me? You know she was on Twitter just looking bad. I'm like, ooh, I need a baddie for my shit. You feel me? And then she, I had hit her up. She said, 5 K, I'm ooh, you crazy as hell. Cause at that, like at that point, I thought we was on the same level. I'm like, I'm looking at her as me and her on the same level. You get what I'm saying? I was like, 5K, I, I'm even crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. I just respect that. <laughs> and now I'm like, yeah, yeah. That now was motherfuckers a pretty like, good investment. The bag. But still, still, look. <laughs> look, I feel that. But still, I feel like I got my own lane. I got my own my own destiny, my own path to That's go right. through. You feel me? That's that right. That shit wasn't for me. And, and I still, like I said, shout out to her. You feel me? She doing her thing. I salute. She going crazy. But I still don't feel like she's like super, super raw and none of that shit. That's my personal opinion. No, she raw. I'm just going to put that shit out there as my she personal raw. opinion. Shout out yeah, Ice Spice from crazy. the Urban Grand her, family. Her, her you shit, raw. Her Ice Spices is going crazy and all that shit. That's my personal I opinion. I see what you say. You I know. know I get what you saying. She but bad, bro. Artist, they not going to understand that Everybody though. They not, that. They not going to understand. People, listeners not going to really understand. But like, I'm not mad at her though. She doing her thing. She glowed up. That's all that matters. You feel me? God bless her. She went crazy. Yeah, she going crazy right now. So, yeah, most definitely because I've been trying to go crazy myself, like, with all the stuff we got coming out. Because I got I got Congre coming out. I got Hay coming out. Like, I got a lot of stuff coming out. Like, I've been trying to get like you, man, dropping more. Because I only got two things out, really. Like, Facts. I'm trying to get like you, man. But I see the grind. I see the grind most Facts. definitely. Facts. I'm doing videos for the loaf. Motherfuckers need it. I'll show you some quality, man. I'm just shooting them. Send them to my editor. And my editor going to get you right. You feel me? So, if motherfuckers need a video, I could pop out. We take our time. I ain't, I ain't going to charge you no time limit, none of that shit. So, we going to, if you want to shoot two days, three days, it's going to be one price. You feel me? I'm going to pop out, put real effort into that shit. You feel me? Girl, most definitely, we got to lock in because I definitely need some more video shots. Hell uh, yeah. I need, and I need that. I need to get to it. You feel me? Let me know. I got you. Sure, bro. Yeah. So what inspired you to become a rapper? Shit, really, I ain't gonna lie, my homie Rab was going crazy when we were shorties, man. Little ass kids, just going straight stupid, going viral on Facebook and all type of shit. So I'm like, damn, bro really inspired me to start rapping and start going crazy. And I start getting on my own shit and really putting in that effort, you feel me? And now, you feel me? I manage him, we going crazy. We got another podcast. Shout out West. Shout out um, NASA Comfy Couch. On Friday, we're gonna be shooting a video, and we on that bitch. We we definitely gonna be off the shrooms on that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> we setting that bitch up. We're definitely <laughs> getting lit, girl. <laughs> Hell yeah! And shout out, uh, shout out RX. That's my homie's. Uh, that's my homie's clothing line, man. He's, he's really, really talented. Really going crazy. Really different. That's just stupid fire. I ain't gonna lie. You shouldn't have video wearing all of that. So you already know. It's UGTV. It's Top Boy Zello. You already got. Stephanie Marie, your best friend. And we with Pedro North. Now, Pedro North, tell us where they can find you. Um, You can find me on all platforms at P-A-Y-D-R-O North. On all platforms, you can find my artist, Roddy Rab. R-O-W-D-Y Rab. All platforms, man. Yeah, you can find me at in Instagram at Steph Marie underscore twenty eight. TB underscore Zello and Thought Boy Zello Z Z on everything. You already know. This was Urban Grind TV. Thank you for watching. It's Pedro North for you listening to Urban Grind Radio, man. Shorty, can I call your phone? Yeah, I talk a lot. Yeah, I know. I was always talking okay, just to run it up. Uh, to be honest with you, so I know love not enough. Uh, so I started to glance at the sea where you coming from. Different angle, baby, I'm in love with your body, with your body. You took my heart, you turned it into a robbery, into a robbery. 
She got that bounce and it turned into a party. Into a party. She had no intentions of saying sorry. Of saying sorry. But I was still waiting on congratulations. You're a dummy, you graduated. Oh, make a screen, give a shout to pass the play. You devastated. No, long nights talking fight. You say I'm wrong, I say you right. Oh, you say I'm lying, call me crap. Perfect timing, never leave me alone. Don't regret nothing I did. I take these mess to the head. I say it is what it is. All right, let's get through these puss ass jokes and get out of here. Huh? See, a creator's job is to be fearless and to express their truth through their art form. We are not responsible for your damn thing. It's okay for people to not agree with someone's artistry, and it's okay to be offended. At the end of the day, none of that shit's going to kill you. I Thanks for clicking on the link. My name is Wally Locker III. I'm the executive producer of Urban Grind Television and author of Music Is My Business, a startup strategy guide to the music business. I've been in the industry for over 18 years, working with artists, entertainers, producers, record executives, and more. I put together a brand new strategy guide just for you on how to navigate the music business. I'm going to talk about your vision, about your commitments, about your dreams, building the supreme team, and more. Also, how to fund your business. So all you need to do is hit the link below, put in your email address. We're going to send you the newsletter. We're going to give you some free bonus content, and you also got an exclusive offer. It's all free. Just click on the link below. Put in your email address and get in tune. It's Urban Grind TV. Music is my business. Let's go. Finally know who I am.
your Lorenz, what you doing? They want to know why I got pain up inside. I know a nigga is late now, but I done seen it been through some of the darkest times. Yeah. You was just a witness, and I really did. It's back to back wins with the court. LA Fitness Miss when me and Nitty talk, we was kissed. It. Wish I can say one last word, but I'm forever wishing. Just know that we miss him with us, he forever living. Tell him, watch my back, cause niggas and bitches be tripping. Niggas say they want to the smoke, how I come and doubt that. He gon' die for the fame, we gon' like the cloud pack. Lost on y'all, the couch with nowhere to go. Even though you fight for what you did, you forever go. Rip logic, now you a legend, bro. Wanna see my nephew, but the love for my sister has to let it go. But that's still a battle when it open door. It's unity I'm open for. Four five on the hip and that's just for the smoke. Cause rappers wanna diss me for a name and I can't let that go. No, ay, no, I can't let it go. Oh. They wanna know why I got pain up inside. I know a nigga is lit now, but I done seen and been through some of the darkest times. Yeah, you was just a witness and I really did. When you get the money, it come niggas with the weird shit. Niggas playing your bro, turn whole, now they snitching. I done let her in, I can't even trust these bitches. Now I put my heart in the business. Fuck it, roll up the wood. Fuck it, I'm good. Even Jesus was misunderstood, and he still had to do it. They talking down on me still, gotta witness me do it. And they can go and spread the lie, I'm going down as some chores, and that's facts. I put down the cup, so it's ripped to the act. Rip, look, clip, nigga, rip, T, rip, Mac. Free the ties, working so we ain't never. I know a nigga is lit now, but I done seen and been through some of the darkest times. Yeah, you was just a witness, and I really did it. When you get the money, it come niggas with the weird shit. Niggas claim you bro, turn whole, now they snitching. I done let her in, I can't even trust these bitches. Now I put my heart in the business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what it is. It's us. We here. It's Urban Grind Radio. Yes, it is. This is Nephew. Stephanie. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, you trying to take my Ooh. spot? See, see, I thought we agreed. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. It's Nephew. Ooh. It's Stephanie Marie, your best friend. <laughs> we out here Damn. with. Barber Nas. The Barber Nas. You yes. know what it I is. Like how you say B-W-A. Nas. Woo. B-W-A. This is nice. This is a nice Barber little setup, you know? Thank y'all you. got all the swag out. Y'all coming hard with it. I see y'all got even the, the blade. Straight razor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So so you get down with all of this and you do, you know. Dang. Everything. Everything. Yeah. 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 So how long you been in the game? Uh, I've been cutting hair about 33 years. 33 years now. Okay. So, uh, all of this uh, apparel and stuff like that, that that you guys are getting together, it's is to promote something or this has always been part of your, your barbershop? Well, my barbershop is Madison Street Barbers. Um, we located 2429 West Madison, but... Uh, this is BWA, which is uh, it's a battle, it's a barber battle brand. Oh, okay. I'm on, I'm a, like a war winning barber, so I used to travel all over the world, compete, yeah. and win trophies. So now I got my own competition wow. at the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center, and it's called BWA Barbers with Attitude. So this is just some of the stuff that we, some of it we raffle off and we have on the website, and some of it we, you know, sell. Yeah. It goes hard. Right, thank you. It goes hard for real. This this beam. Barbers with attitude. <laughs> yeah, that's, PWA. Yeah, yeah. That's taking it back on a note, you know. Right, you know. Yeah, you feel me. So, uh, years. like you say, you've been award winning and everything mm-hmm. like that. You you go into graphics or you just a fading blowout type guy? Everything. Uh, everything. My, actually, my first competition I ever won mm-hmm. was freestyle design and graphics. Okay. Mm-hmm. And how you, you, when you say everything, you mean scissors too? Everything. Because I got marks in the middle of my hands from scissors, you know. So I everything. got uh, I got down too. For I'm about also eight years. Uh, I'm also a wall educator. I work for Wall uh, Clipper Corporation. Oh, nice. Which is the number one 
know, they're original clipper company, so I'm an educator for them. So I also teach every texture, every style, every haircut from from different styles all over the world. I go to like different schools and continue education. I teach at the Salon Centrix. Are you, I mean, are all you, the hair schools. Are you like educated. one of those to, that that uses sprays and all of that too? I use whatever Your the wax, client want. I, everything. You know what, hey, the you, you sit is, there with the hot hey. towel and you know because I want right. you. Hey, the I might line, have to slide right? by you and, 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 yeah. and take a little I'm session. I'm, you know. I'm I'm not one of those. You know, I do this. I don't do that. I do whatever the client want. Whatever you know, things change and I change mm-hmm. with it. You know, I've been cutting hair. 33 years, but, you know, of course, when I started cutting hair, there was no social media, there was no, you know, uh, YouTube that we could watch videos and learn, and we couldn't promote ourselves, so I had to get my hands out the mud. There yeah. wasn't really no enhancements like that, you know, people were just getting, just die, you know, yeah, yeah. they whole, it wasn't, you know, applying it, was it properly on the body, a, they were just smacking it tape on the side. <laughs> you get a haircut, you might still got some black stuff on your face when yeah, it's over yeah. with, you know. So, but I do everything though. You know, I started out doing all the haircuts that are coming back in the style now. Like, you know, that's where they found me at. You know, afros, yeah. the high tops, the shags, comb overs, all that. You know, that's my. That's where I come from. Right, you know? right, so right. Yeah. It just come back all back around again, and I'm everything in between. That's amazing. Thank you. So a little birdie told me that you are starting your school. Yeah. Your own school. Uh, mm-hmm. Um. On the west side of Chicago, it's like one barber school. You know, you look at the city of Chicago, there's barber schools, you know, all in the suburbs, up north, there's some downtown, some out south. That's only one barber school on the west side of Chicago. So I've been working on opening up a barber school, a barber and a cosmetology school. I've been working on it for like a few years now. So uh, it should be, uh, I say next year, 24, maybe 25, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah. Stay tuned, sign yeah, off, you know, tuned. you got a dream to come um, here. Get you some. Yeah, girls, yeah. guys. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, with the cosmetology too, so. Yeah, that's, that's I'm, I'm definitely going to have bubble. cosmetology. And you know. you're going to be teaching there or you're just yeah. going to govern it? Yeah, I'm also an instructor. Okay. So yeah, I, uh, the curriculum, everything's going to be written by me. <clears throat> um, of course, I work for WAL, so all the tools are going to be WAL as far as the yeah. You know, the student packages. I was always an Andy's guy. Hey. I use I use the 64s too. So yeah, of course. Classics. You know, Everybody I mean, got, those are the problems. at the end of the day, once you Easy develop ones. a technique, yeah. you know, you yeah. can get out with anything, you know. Because I've used everything that's in the industry right now. Yeah. But I started with Wall though. Yeah. That that was the Yeah, me too. They were like one of the first ones yeah, that we that had in, that was able to get that the, the slide clip. Yeah, the you adjust, know, but the, uh, be adjustable. affordable. So mm-hmm. yeah. Shout yeah, out Wall was Wall, um, always looking out. Yeah, they had original clipper. They they had the you know, their biggest industry is the is the like what you like what you said you started out with. So their biggest market is the home. Right stuff, you know all the little, yeah. you know you go to Ross and all that, you see the little nose trimmers and all that. And <laughs> you go to Walmart, you see the clippers with the colorful guards, all that. That's I ain't their go hate on them right so now. So they make more money clippers, off of yeah. that than they do their like products. the barbers and yeah. stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. You think barbers True. use a lot of clippers? Like more people buy yeah, those. Yeah. When you go and, on vacation, and, you might and, need a little trim. Yeah, and got, animals, you, you know, the, the whole animal for twenty bucks, cutting the sheep yeah. and. The, the the tools they use when you get your dog groomed they, that's all wall oh true all wall yeah. if yeah. you don't know look at your stuff at home yeah <laughs> you better check it out oh we used to dig into those and, and motor adjust them mm-hmm. and, you know get the oils oh, yeah. and clean the inside do all that you know, making it yeah, yeah making our adjustments so the, the Oh yeah, I had to do. I had to do. You know, when we started back cutting hair back in the day, there we used wasn't. to hold them upside down. Yeah, you ever did that? Yeah, With the I walls? did. I had to do everything. Yeah, you know? when the cord get a shortage in it, I had to. I got to wrap the cord around my arm. Yeah, it kind of looked like AIL Cool J with the mic on his arm. Like it wasn't you know Wall's like, fault most of the no, time. No, we course. was just bad. It wasn't the clippers that they were selling from the like you know the Walmart's and stuff yeah, like that. They yeah, wasn't yeah. like heavy duty. We wanted tight fades. Yeah, yeah. So we just overdid it. You know, the clippers. You've been in Chicago your, all your thirty years. Uh, 33 years in, in haircutting? No. Hot. I've been in uh, different from? places. I've been in southern Illinois cutting in college towns. I okay. travel. Um, but Shout most, out Champagne over there. Yeah. yeah. 
I used to go by the frats over there. I love those. Spots. Yeah, that's, those yeah, they party years. down there. <laughs> yeah, but mostly, yeah, Chicago, yeah. Chicago land. Okay. Yeah. That's where you moved around. So a little birdie because also told me that oh. you might, uh, you might be going overseas. They're trying to get you out there. Oh yeah, um, it's, it's it's a lot of stuff going on. Like you know, when you're doing something, like my reputation, like a lot of people, you know, get on and and they're known for different things. My reputation comes from hard work and just from being, you know, a lot of people from Chicago and there's no shade, but sometimes when people come from a city like this and then you hear a lot of negative things, the first thing people want to do when they get a little piece of success, they want to run, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they want to yeah. go somewhere else and, you know, I'm I'm this Atlanta barber, but I'm from Chicago. I'm here, I'm there, I'm there. Nothing wrong with that, but I just felt like I wanted to help. Especially as an educator. Be a beacon in my city, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't want to, like, like, I can literally go to other cities and make more money than I'm making now, you know, right. because I'm from Chicago. Right, you know, right. I, hey, a Houston, I'm in Houston, but I'm Barbara Nall from Chicago. Like, yeah. that comes with a ticket, yeah. you know? Yeah. Atlanta comes with a ticket. L.A. comes with a ticket. Yeah. Yeah. I have clients that fly in from all over the world, and they're so used to me cutting their hair. They come to Chicago just one, one time a month, maybe. Yeah. You know, they might know some family here. They may want to stop in, get something to eat. Yeah, now I'm coming to get a haircut. I'm coming from Miami, you know, because yeah. a lot of clients, they don't want to get jacked up. And right, right. a lot of barbers ain't like that. Especially you know? when you're out of town. A lot of yeah. photoshops, a lot of oh, hazards man. out here. A lot of barbers ain't like that. But, yeah, they nominated me uh, in Africa for Educator of the Year and Barber of the Year. Wow. And I begin an invitation to do classes in, like, the Philippines and all over. But, you know, it just be, you know... It, it don't some some of the things don't be coming from places that I'm too sure like you know like it ain't it don't come from school it come from people that's barbers and I don't know if this is a real barber this could be somebody trying to get me over there on some on some taking to you yeah, know what I'm saying I'm somewhere I, I gotta see you with the blade first you know what I'm saying like, like, I get over barber, there bro, like, like yeah I'm looking for uh, barber news yeah get in the car doing this. Uh, what's going you're on shaking when uh, I'm <laughs> I come over here to educate now y'all trying to. Yeah. Oh, you, Take my kidney or something. You, know you, you, you gotta, you gotta trust me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta know who I'm talking to. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, you know, things happen, man. I hear. And coming from Chicago, I'm pretty sure we all know. Like, yes. we very cautious. You know, yeah. like I never that 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 never leaves me. When I go to other cities and 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 people are all partying in the street and doing stuff, they be like, Nah, it's calm down. I'll be like. Can't you know what I'm saying? I said, There's too many people out here, like you know, because you know here when you get a lot of people and it's, yeah, they, it's, it's something always issue. escalate. Yeah. So when you go out of town, you see thousands of people and they kicking it and nothing yeah. happened. You be like, wow, I had a really good time. Yeah. You know? yeah. Nobody died, you know. Bless. Nobody even got beat up. Like, that that's crazy. You know? Right, it's a little things sometimes, you know. Yeah, <laughs> Absolutely. Chicago is something different. Yeah. But it, it's all love out here too, mm-hmm. man. There's 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 so much more uh positivity that doesn't get uh shined on enough. Not that, enough credit. Yeah, yeah like right. Yeah, if you if you look at uh the list, I think it goes Memphis, Baltimore, like something, 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 and then it's like eight, nine cities down Chicago and like murder raids right. or, or shootings or stuff like that. And uh this is like Memphis is like that small compared to what Chicago right. has in population. Right. So, you know, you're going off percentages and stuff like that. So, right. It's, and they, and they, it, it's like they glorify it looks, everything it looks, that happens here. It like it looks it's not worse. happening everywhere. Yeah. You it know looks what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, we definitely we, have a we, reputation we, for procedures. <laughs> we in right. the neighborhood right now. It ain't nobody. <laughs> right. Everybody's you know? not everybody. Right. Everybody's, everybody's Chicago, We all good. Not, We're safe. Secure. We're all comfortable. Right. You know? <laughs> Might have a ticket on our car when we leave, yeah, but we yeah. save. No. <laughs> yeah. So tell the public where they can find you, Barbara Nice. I mean, you can find me everywhere. You know, I'm a barber. You need a haircut. No, I'm just <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, You can find me, uh, Madison Street Barbers, uh, the shop I own, 2429 West Madison, like a few blocks away from United Center. Um, you can find me, Instagram, TikTok, all of them things. Uh, Barbara Nas, that's me. I'm everywhere. Uh, you go to barbernaz.com, you can see what I got going on. You go to barbersoattitude.com if you want to buy some merch or you want to register uh, to compete or come to the expo on September 10th at the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center. Uh, Instagram, uh, Barbara's Attitude, Chicago Barber Expo, 
um, Instagram, Madison Street Barbers. Uh, you want to book an appointment with me or anyone that's uh, an associate in the barbershop, you got msbchicago.com. Yes, get you out of here. You can't miss me, you know. You ain't got you can't no more. Me, you, you ain't got, you, got you, no more. You right. want to say. Hold on. I also, oh, no. nah, let me tell you about my LinkedIn. Nah. <laughs> okay, nah. <laughs> like, you heard him, you heard him. Like, like, if you miss me, you, you you really didn't want me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you know, you can yeah, email like, me, barbernosmsb at gmail.com. Who's yeah, about nah. to give the I got a, the I, got, I, still, I still got my I still got my Yahoo email. You know, it's hey, hey, YNRC, which say is it. my real name. Say see. Why not see a Yahoo? I mean, a Yahoo.com. You know, I got Madden Street Barbers at Yahoo.com. Like, yeah. like I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can do the bird call. I'm gonna be there. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you, know you gotta hide things. Right. You gotta like, go somewhere. Chicago. You gotta right. do that. Speaking you know. You gotta right. go with Bob you know and I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here. Say my say my name three times after the camera. There you go, Jess. Say his name three times. Like, <laughs> 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 whatever. Like, you know. Come on, Bob and Nine. Real. It's Chicago and Candyman. I'm there, here. There's, there's little truth behind that. <laughs> right. I'm here. It's kind of crazy because I, I started cutting hair in the project. So, oh, you know, mm. I ain't the Candyman, though. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? No. But, Hold on. You know, that was two it, times. It, it wasn't Cabrini, <laughs> you know. Did he say it two times already? Right. On the air? <laughs> right. Everybody? No, hey. Hey, but, you know, that's how we do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, no, we blessed. We safe. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> right. Watch out for bumblebees. No. <laughs> Pretty much. Hey, that's my sign, though. Wow. What's your sign? Uh huh. What sign are you? Oh, I'm Sagittarius. Swaggy. Hi, Sagittarius. Day. You know, what are you? Libra. Libra. Libra? I'm a Virgo. Virgo. Uh, nobody's perfect. Okay, that was. No. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm just kidding. Actually, that's part of our. Uh, that's part of but our thing. But that was you know? actually to wrap it up time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it's Stephanie Marie, your best friend. Bob and Oz. Yeah, you know what it is. Urban Grind Radio. Let's get it. We out. Okay, this is Bob and Oz, and you are listening to Urban Grind Radio.